All right, so at this point you've done it. You went through EMT school, medic school, and you got your first job, and you're about to go out there. You're all excited and everything like that. I'm here to tell you what you can expect to learn your first year in EMS. Roll the intro. Wah. What's up, you death fighters? Happy November. A little brisk out. Not terrible, a little brisk. I like it. So we're gonna talk about those things that you learned that first year when you're out on the job, first year in EMS. You're gonna learn a lot. It's gonna be a little bit overwhelming sometimes, but you definitely get something out of it, for sure. So the first thing you're gonna learn is that the partner that you work with that first year, a variety of partners that you work with that first year, is gonna make or break that tour you're working. Now there's a lot of different characters that you're gonna run into in EMS. Some of them are awesome, some of them are terrible, honestly. But you're gonna to get to work with a lot of different kinds of people. And you're gonna learn that really quickly. If you have an awesome partner, you're gonna be able to get through that tour really easily. You're gonna learn a lot. You're gonna gain a lot of experience. And it's gonna make your day just like amazing and wonderful. So hopefully you have a great partner. That first year won't be so bad. Number two, you're gonna learn that 90% of the stuff you learned in school is only gonna be used about 10% of the time. For the majority of the time, the job you run aren't going to be all that crazy. They're not going to be like these crazy shots and stabs and all this ridiculous stuff that you learned about in school. A lot of it's actually just going to be that you're running the mill, maybe a tummy ache, stuff that really isn't like adrenaline pumping craziness. But don't discount those things. Because the truth of the matter is those people required help and they called 911. You're going to be there to help them. So you know what? You are saving the day. Not bad. Number three. You're going to learn that slow is smooth and smooth is fast. It means that when you first get out there, you're going to notice that people are going a little bit slower than you think they would. You think that everyone's running around. You can maybe you watch too much Chicago Fire. That stuff doesn't actually happen. But we have to be really cognizant of the stuff that we're doing. We have to be making really good choices. So to gather that information, sometimes we're going to go just a little bit slower so everything goes a little bit smoother. If you can do it that way, the job gets done faster, more efficiently, and better. Number four. When you get to that apartment, that nursing home, the room that your patient is in, is all the way at the end of the hall. I don't know why. It makes no sense. But it always happens. They're at the end of the hall. Number five, you're not done learning. I know you think that you finished school and you're good to go, but there's so much more you need to learn. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna realize that you have to learn a lot more about medical modalities, medications, how to interact with patients, and just all these different situations that you never thought of and they couldn't teach it to you in school. There's a lot of learning. Number six, you're gonna find out that people in the EMS are actually super superstitious. Friday the 13th, full moons, the word quiet. We don't do them, we don't mess with them. It's just kind of part of the game. No one's really sure why it happens, but we are extremely superstitious. Number seven, we work a lot. You may have your set shifts, maybe you do 8s, maybe you do 12s, maybe you do 24s, but we work a lot, including the overtime. You're going to be busy. You're going to miss a lot of family events. You're going to miss birthdays. You're going to miss holidays. You're going to miss all these things, at least in the beginning, until you gain some seniority. Number 8. For whatever reason, patients generally do not turn off their TV. You'll get in there, they'll be sick, you're there to help them, and that TV's blasting. Whatever show it is, it's just going. And you gotta ask them for the remote and turn off the TV. This one's a weird one. Number nine. Your family and friends are gonna be asking you all sorts of weird medical questions that literally make no sense. You're going to be asked about weird bumps and things like that. They're gonna ask you if they're having a heart attack when you definitely know they're not. It's like you're their own personal WebMD. Magically, because you're an EMT now, you have all the answers. And number 10, the last one on this list, you're gonna learn that CPR is incredibly difficult. It is exhausting. Your arms will hurt, your back will hurt, your knees will hurt, everything will hurt, and then you'll have to rotate for another two minutes after that. It'll mess you up. You're also gonna learn that not all cardiac arrest cases come back. It is actually really, really difficult to get a cardiac arrest back. You're gonna try your hardest, and maybe you'll get lucky that first year, and you'll get that save. I hope you do. It's an amazing feeling. It's one of the greatest things that we can do on this job. And that's it. That's all I got for this video. Those are your 10 things you might learn your first year in EMS. Some people have different experiences. Maybe you'll experience something different. Maybe you did. So if you did, you know what? Write me a comment down below. Let me know what you learned your first year in EMS. I'm Rescue Randy. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification if you want to get updates on my upcoming videos. And stay safe, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.